All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how to deploy a serverless API to DigitalOcean with OpenFast and Docker Swarm. And this is version two of this video, as well as the associated code. And so if you don't already have an account on DigitalOcean, please use the link in the video's description to sign up. You will get $10 in DigitalOcean credit. And you'll also need an access token to the DigitalOcean API. And again, refer to the link in the video's description for help on that. So assuming you already cloned down the repository, open up the project directory in the terminal, and you're going to want to set the environment variable for that access token. So I'm using digital underscore ocean underscore access underscore token. Next, you want to create a droplet on DigitalOcean. Copy and paste that command there, and then replace add your key with that token. And so this is provisioning a new droplet on DigitalOcean. It will take a few minutes to run. So once done, you will see the droplet on the DigitalOcean dashboard. So next we want to set that newly created machine as the active Docker machine, and then we'll point the Docker daemon at the machine backend. And so let's build the Docker images for our functions. So now we can initialize Docker Swarm mode on the droplet. And with that, we can deploy the OpenFast stack on the droplet. So this deployed an API gateway, the four CRUD functions, and a Postgres database. They're each running in a separate container. So before we can test this out, let's create the database along with a table. So let's grab the ID of our movies-db service. Now we can hop into psql, create a new database, connect to it. Now we can create our table. Okay, and so now we can test. So first let's create a new movie, never ending story. And we can test this from the GUI as well. So let's grab the IP address. So this is the OpenFast portal. You can see our CRUD functions here. and there's never ending story. So we can test these other functions. Oops. So maybe I messed up and actually want to change that to never ending story to the SQL. Go back to the OpenFast portal, invoke the read function again. See that's updated to never ending story two. And finally, let's look at the delete. And we'll invoke that again, and you can see there there's no movies in the database. All right, so that's all I have. Please leave questions in the comments below, and thanks for watching.